Now let's try to create our own resource. Now if you can see, we, what we have done here is we have used my resource, right? And when you request for my resource, we are getting got it. But to make you, I mean, let's, if, if you want to create your own resource now, what I will do is first of all, I will create a model object because see, it's always better to return an object format, right? Because that's what rest actually means, which is representational state transfer. So you are transferring the state of an object. So for that, you need an object. And to get an object, first of all, we have to get a class, right? So let's get a class here and we'll go for the alien because I love aliens. And uh, I'll click on finish. Okay, when, uh, okay, just if you don't know what is alien means, I call all my IT, IT uh, trainees or students or colleagues as aliens because we are, we, we live in virtual world, right? We are not, we don't live in real world. So yeah, so we have a uh, alien here and then I got, let, let's, let's, let me just use some variables here. So again, uh, we'll go for some typical examples. Uh, so we'll go for private, uh, string name. Every alien will be having a name and every alien will be having some points. Maybe, okay. When I say points, it means for a particular, so let's say if I'm, if I'm good at Java, so I'm as alien, I'm an, I'm an alien. I'll be having some points, right? Maybe 50 points out of hundred, maybe 80 points out of hundred, maybe 10 points out of hundred. So every, every alien will have a name and a point. And for this, what I will do is I will say getters and setters. We'll say source generate getters and setters. Let's select all and click on OK. So we got our class here, right? This is our simple POJO, or you can call it as. Now, what I want is when I request for the alien, so let's say if, if anyone says, hey, I want aliens, I want to return the objects of aliens, maybe one or two objects, whatever you want to return. Initially, we'll return only one, and let's see how to return multiple multiple objects. And if you want to return that, in which format you'll be returning that? That's, a, that's one of the question. So what I will do here is let me create our own resource. Again, uh, normally when you work on server application, maybe some other framework like Spring, we always create a control, right? Because normally we follow MVC pattern there. Now here, we are not following MVC pattern. What we are trying to achieve is when you send a request, you want a response as a JSON format or XML format, right? Now we can call it as my own resource. So we can do it at here itself. But instead of touching the, I mean, instead of changing the existing code, what I would do is I will create my own resource. And now it's not that difficult to do that, right? We'll create a new resource, we'll say new class, and I will call this as alien resources. Again, you can, could have, we, we can go with alien controller, or maybe only, maybe uh, some other, other name, but then this makes more sense, right? You should always get a project which, uh, I mean, when you, you should always use a name in the project, which actually makes some sense. So I will say alien resource, which will return the alien object, now, since you want it to work with uh, a request, of course, you have to use one of our favorite annotations. Now, if you remember in the earlier example where we have talked about uh, this one, which is your my resource. So we have worked on my resource and my resource says, first of all, let me just close all this extra thing. So this my resource having an annotation, which is add path, right? This defines in which on, I mean, at what request you have to call this. So I will say add path, I will say control space. So whenever I send this request uh, with a URL, okay, so I will say, whenever I call for aliens, I want to call this resource, right? But again, we need some method to work with it, right? So I will create a method here. Okay, let me just say method name as, okay. So I will say method name, okay, so I'll say public. I will say method name as, uh, maybe it will return, uh, okay, so, okay, we'll say get alien but then it will return an alien object right so we'll say alien and the method name would be okay so the method name would be get alien now this get alien will give you an alien a single alien right okay so we have to create alien object we'll say alien a1 again you can go with any name doesn't matter we'll say new alien and let's assign some values there so i will say a1 dot uh set name i will assign the name of myself i will say naveen and I will say a1 dot set points. I will assign the points to myself. Let's say I'm assigning a point 60 out of 100. Okay. So I want to return this object. And the way you can do that is by simply saying return a1. And that's it. Your job is done here. But hold on. Uh, how this method will be called? Is it, it, will it be called automatically? I don't think so. But still, let's run this code and let's see what's the error we are getting. Because that's how you understand what's going wrong, right? So let me restart my, restart my server. And let's get back to my browser, which is Firefox here. And instead of calling resources this time, I will be calling slash 
aliens that's how that's how my request is and if i say enter oh we got an error it says 404 and anything in, on the console nothing much as you can see we are not getting any any error here but here is the issue it's it is giving you a warning it says resources alien is it has no resources no sub methods neither sub resource okay it's simply saying that whenever you use resources you have to make sure that you create a method which returns something so here what we'll do is i will say this will be called whenever you request for get request so whenever you send a get request then only you, sh you should call this aliens okay that sounds good and i will do one more thing just to verify if this this is getting called or not so i will say get alien call just to make sure that it is getting called right so you can also maintain a log file but let's say this print alien will do let's run this application once more i will say click on this and run run on run on server enter and enter okay now if i go back to my browser and i will request for the same thing aliens okay this time we got a different error can you see that we are not getting 404 anymore we are getting 500 that means when you go back here it says get alien call that's perfect everything is working perfectly but then it says message body writer not found okay so what you have to do is whenever you return something you have to specify what type of data you're returning so you have to show your intention right so i will say at the rate produces okay uh at the rate produces you have to mention what it produces so we'll say produces and in this we will mention a bracket square bracket now there are some constants we can use we can say media or we can simply say if application json so we have different or not json application underscore xml but that belongs to a class which is called as media type media type dot it is application xml so we'll say application underscore x or what's happening xml right so you have to mention media type underscore dot xm application xml let me import the package so that's your media type okay now i guess it will return what we are expecting here it says application underscore Oh, I've made a mistake here. It should be in capital letters. Is it capital? Yes, it is capital. So let's go back to my XML. It's here, this one. Yeah, I and this should work now. Let's try. Okay, when you say it should work, sometimes it doesn't work, okay, because of something is missing. Let's try this and let's run this application. Let's get back to our browser, uh, which is here. And the same request. Oh, again, we are getting 500. It says get called. Now, what is wrong? The thing is, whenever you send a request, it is, it is, I mean, alien is ready to get converted. But then, you know, when you talk about conversion, this object will be returned in XML format, right? So your alien should know that which is the root element, because in XML, we have this hierarchy structure, right? We have root element, then we have element inside that, and we have element inside that. So what I want is this alien should be the root element, and then this name and point should be elements inside that. And to achieve that, we have to use one of the annotation called as adderage XML root, what is that? XML root element. So we have to make sure that we are using this annotation because I want to return a XML file. Okay, now I think it should work. Let me shut the server. So for a long time, I'm saying this will work, this will work, but let's, let's try once again. Let me go back to my browser and let's say enter. Oh, can you see that it is working? We got our XML data. And you can see it's so beautiful. We got this alien name, alien tag here inside. This is your root element, by the way. And then we are saying names, uh, name and points, right? So this is how you create your own resource. And I mean, can you see that it's not that difficult? I don't know why people think this, uh, REST API is damn difficult. You can see it is so simple. It is easier than servlets, I guess. You know, we just have to create a method and just return the resource, just return the, create an object and re re return it. Again, you might be thinking we are creating our own resource, the own object. What if you want to fetch from database? We can do that very easily. Just write a JDBC code and fetch it from there. Or maybe you can use Hibernate, or Hibernate framework here, return the object, get, get the object from the database and return it. I mean, it's, it's that simple. Okay, no, nothing, nothing to do extra. But maybe in future, we'll talk about how do we merge uh, Spring, JPA and REST together. So by the time uh, this is this is how it works. Let's let's keep it simple now. We have just created the alien alien class 
on, on top of that, we have written added XML root element. To define that, we are returning this in XML format. And we are creating this alien resource where you are creating a method called get alien with the with annotation get add get because we are sending a get request add produces to mention that what we are producing it and we got this object we are returning that object and everything is so simple so that's it from this video in the next video we'll discuss how do we return multiple objects right and yeah that's it uh that's it from this video thanks so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos